Hello there and welcome back to yet a, another episode. So we have done quite a bit in this colony already and last episode the main sort of goal for us actually for this whole series or most of it is having those district crossing sections over here so our colonies are or yeah the districts are finally separated. We did work on other things as well. What I have not done is I've not done a lot of automation over here. I know it's something I really wanted to get done but unfortunately I actually I completely forgot about it and then um, <laughs> let's see all those lovely irrigation tiles are now in as well and I think all we need to really do in here actually we probably don't want to delete all those trees but we can mark them to be replaced now i don't suppose you are going to be in the range actually you are almost then over here we still have some construction projects as well but some of them are already done so that's all looking lovely then the slightly bigger one that we started over here was the levy wall and it appears that the last wooden stair is almost done as well which means we can get rid of those ruins hopefully very soon uh, let's have a look at the rest of the levies. Oh, you are still waiting for this one. Okay, yeah, this one's probably going to take a little bit longer, so let's just leave it over there. So what is the focus for this episode? And I'm glad you asked, because as we said at the end of the last one, we definitely want to start constructing up this area. And most of the time, I prefer to do them kind of like off camera, take my sweet time with it. But I do know from previous uh, sort of months and years, some of you have mentioned that it, it would be lovely to hear a bit about the thought process as well. So I'll do my best, but uh, I've, I've got to admit that I definitely prefer to take my time and, and do it in a peace and quiet sort of environment. So, um, right, so the idea of this area is that I'd like to imagine that this area was hit by either like a like a meteorite or maybe there was a, some kind of a bigger explosion. So over here, now it's good to use those terrain blocks. I don't think we have, oh, actually, hold on a second. We might have some, oh yeah, we do have some dirt in there. So I hope no one's gonna start constructing it, but I'm pretty sure they do because in update 5 there's no longer like a separate building that um, is just for the pots but anyways okay so over here we're most likely gonna have a bit of a walk around so let's just mark it roughly like so and then we'll definitely want to do a few more step up points as well i do want this to be a little bit higher i think i'm gonna pause the game just for a little bit because i don't want those beavers to construct anything okay so there we go Turn these ones around. This is the... Oh, thousand science points. Well, that's fine. We still have a few. So this mountain is going to go a little bit higher. Now, we might do some more decorations over here. So let's just connect you guys up as well. Okay, so that's the first level. Now, to sort of keep the idea the same over here, I am going to place one more level right about here, I think. Actually, let's delete this one. Okay, let's see how how this one's gonna look like. Okay, that's not bad. We do want to get rid of the the dead pine trees over here as well. Okay, you can go over there. Now the next question is, how far do we really want to go with this? And I think the answer is quite a bit more because I want the the district center. I want it to be kind of like a half on the mountain and a half hanging on the not so natural tiles i mean well they do have a name and they they are called levies um i would also like to kind of build sort of like cliffs over here yeah i do struggle with description or describing my thoughts and ideas sometimes but okay here we go so we'll give it a bit variety now with those bumps mm, Okay, they're not going to be permanent, are they? Because we are also... Oh yeah, we did start this quite some time ago. There is going to be a more sort of like a natural way of keeping this area um, sort of watered up. Okay, so that one is good here. We'll give you maybe a couple more. Okay, uh, that is the highest we can go. So we have to be quite careful, it seems. Okay, that is a little bit unfortunate. How high is this map? Oh yeah, we are pretty high actually. Okay, well, fine. 
that is okay. Now, <laughs> how do we want to do this? Do we want to use more levees or, or more terrain blocks over here? I think we can do a few more. Okay, let's do it like so. And then we can extend the mountain sort of like into this area a bit more as well. I'd like to have a couple more cliffs and uh, yeah, sort of like taller areas. Now, how are we going to do this though? So I suppose we could even come down like a little bit, just a tiny bit over here. And then maybe perhaps somewhere here it's going to go up again. Okay, let's try and create this cliffy area somewhere about here. Okay, yep, we can raise you up. Okay, I'm starting to like this already. This looks too too straight, but don't worry. We're going to fix this up in no time at all. Okay, I do want some of those corners to be... Let's have a look. Maybe this one could be the highest. We're going to go max out yet again. All right, and then maybe somewhere here it's going to go almost as high. You're going to be like so. And then we'll do... I don't want it to look like stairs. Okay, so let's remove another one. All right, this is looking good. We can have a few lower ones here as well. Maybe remove another one. And I think that's starting to look pretty lovely. Yeah, we're just going to step down over here to make it, at least in my opinion, a little bit more natural. All right, and yeah, so we can't turn... Well, I guess we can. We could, and this is where we could do those bridges as well, which could look pretty, pretty interesting. The next question is, do we want to kind of leave like a bit of space in here for the trains as well? Because I'm pretty certain we do want to do them or build them in the future. But for now, let's just have a look at how this might... Okay. Um, <laughs> let's remove that block over here. That path can go as well. Couple of roads. Okay, I kind of like how the, the stairs are tucked away or hidden inside this mountain here. Okay, that's, um, that is starting to look pretty, pretty lovely. We'll do the same in here as well. And then what I'd like to do, I'd like to raise this up a little bit, just a little bit more. Then same on the outside a little bit, okay. Yeah, take this one out. Maybe we can have... A small opening here. And... Okay. Yeah, that's definitely making it a little bit more interesting. Now, um, here it does look a little too flat, so... We're just gonna create a bit more depth and character. Like so as well. Okay. I think that should be good, right? Okay, very cool. Uh, very happy with this area. Not really sure what we can do on those mountaintops, but... They can just remain the way they are as well. Right, our next step is going to be building up over here. I think this is the level where we are going to place down the levees. Okay, so here we go. We're going to connect you with the mountain. So build into it. Yeah, so it's going to feel like it's part of, part of the mountain here. Okay, how are we looking now? So that's going to go up. We are going to need... It's a 3x3 three three that we need to construct over here. And um, I know, we are going to be wasting a ton of logs. I mean, we could always use the different kinds of levees as well, but these ones are going to consume a lot more planks. Or, I mean, they are going to consume a lot of planks, so that's probably something we can't afford right now. Now... Also, we are going to have to remove the stairs over there, so it's not going to be connected. And in here, what we'd like to do is a four-way district center instead. Okay, so there we go. It doesn't look very interesting right now. So maybe we just change you up a little bit. I want this to sort of like gradually and naturally... Um, yeah, fall off over here. Uh, right, right, right. So we'll do one more. Right about there. And one here. And then now we do have to also start sort of planning. How do we want to do the 
Oh yeah, we don't need this one. I think that's gonna go like so. And then we'll have some like either lights or some statues next to it. Then the oh, we don't have to actually delete this one because we don't have a road here, so that is fine. Okay, over here as well. Let's place a couple more. Actually, hold on a second. These ones can be natural tiles instead. And you're gonna go down over here. And this one. And that one's gonna go as well. Yeah, I think that's how we, how we want to have it. And uh, that's probably gonna be the way how they access this zone. Unless they come from the uh, from around the same level, but we shall see. Now, over here, access is going to be hmm, a little bit interesting. I, I don't really know where they should or where they might want to go. This could be... I mean, actually, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. We could even create kind of like this viewing area over here. This could be pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we want to connect up to this hill over here. And then this should be the side that is going to come down over here. And then we'll figure out a way how we can connect it up with the Scrap City as well. Okay, another layer is going to be here. Quite a few levees. Hmm. Now, how shall we connect you up? We can do a few more... To rain blocks, I suppose. Yeah, probably somewhere here is where I do want to have yet another cliff. Okay, we're gonna create a couple more levels over here. I mean, we could leave those trees in here. Actually, yeah. I don't think they're in our way, so let's just uh, leave them for the time being. Now, this is starting to look too much like stairs, so let us change this up just a little bit. You're going to have to go there because I think we might want to do some decorations over here instead. Oh yeah, this does mean we probably want to remove at least a couple of those trees. Okay, and over here. Okay, so that's fine. And here we can do a few levees as well. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll be completely honest. It's very difficult to try and imagine how we want to build this zone and do it uh, somewhat live as well because it, it's just I usually take like a few hours just to practice and uh, figure out where different blocks go and delete the design like several times as well until I really get something that I like but to be honest I think we're yeah we're definitely making a bit progress over here um, what I am worried about is the cost of this development over here. Now, this might be a couple of roads that are going to go through here. So, what we could do... Okay, we said we're going to have a bit of a higher area over here. So, let's just do a little bit. We can change this up in the future as well. So, roads are going to go through here. And perhaps we change this up a little bit. Let's just say... Okay, if we delete this one... Come on, here we go. And then, roads-wise, we could go... No, we don't want to create those loops in here. Or maybe we do, because it's the district center, right? Yeah, it might be fine. Let's just do another couple of blocks over here. Okay, that's looking good. A little bit up again. Ah, okay, that's all we can do. That's fine. Uh, another tower over here. Yes, we do want to delete you. Oh yeah, I definitely want to do some viewing platforms somewhere around here. So that's where it's going to go downwards. We have a few more natural tiles. I guess we could do a few more in here. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. So you can go something like so. It feels too bare in this area. Okay, so we probably need to get rid of the trees in here as well. Okay, come on, here we go. Not sure if the beavers can access this area, but I mean, that's quite a bit already. And um, I mean, the access and going up here is pretty good. I think we can be happy with this. What I'd probably like to do is build up this zone here as well, just a tiny bit. Okay, I feel I don't want to 
make it the same distance but somewhere around here is where I do want to raise it up a little bit. Maybe this one's going to be like right against the district center. Okay, there we go. Maybe a couple more just like so. I don't want to cover this whole area with levees. I want to kind of like expose a few more natural tiles over here and then have maybe levees in and in, in, in around here. Yeah, maybe something like that. So it looks like we've um, built into into this mountain and not just completely, I don't know, like expanded the mountain, if that makes sense. So this means probably around uh, somewhere here, we are going to do a, another higher area. So something like this. And then over here we can expand the mountain with a few more levees. So yeah, I think this is starting to look pretty good. We can resume the time as well. I know we're going to have some difficulties building this up uh, since we are lacking some resources right now. And um, probably some beavers are going to get stuck as well, but I think it's okay. It's, um, it's not a huge priority getting all of this constructed. And to get all of the, the mountain tops done, we are going to have to build quite a lot of ladders here for access. So whilst the beavers are doing that, let's just um, try and see what are some of the other things we might struggle over here. Now, I am certain that we are going to run out of dirt pretty, pretty quickly. So let's just bring in a little bit more into this zone. Yeah, I mean, we're going to continue the, the harvest over here. Okay, what's happening? Why are you guys open? You should be closed up. Let's have a look at the settings. So when the drought starts, oh, when the drought ends, you should still remain closed, I'm afraid. Okay, there we go. Yep, it's only for the bad tide. I think we're fine now. So how many construction beavers do we have in here? You guys are still full, right? Uh, we do have some more bots as well. So I would like to uh, switch this over. There we go. Yeah, this is going to go way quicker if we have the bots constructing this whole area. Okay, now, <laughs> what else do we have? You should probably, I don't like having those notifications, so yeah, let's try and get the platform done. That is complete. What else do we have here? You are lacking materials. Oh yeah, all of you with the mushrooms and algae and unconnected building. Oh, well, you look at that. I know it's nighttime. It might be a little bit more difficult to see, but the... Um, Oh, we should probably pause this one here. The uh, housing estate is almost done for access. Hold on a second. Let's just change you around a little bit. Okay, so now we should be able to construct all of them. Slightly higher priority for this one, that one, and here we go. Hmm, interesting. We didn't actually need this over here. Oh no, we do need this over here. Because we also have to construct the, the roof right there. Okay, here we go. That should fix it. Now, here's something funny that I think I've never seen in any of my playthroughs. And that is 103 free beds. Yep, that is really, uh, really odd to see this over here. And it's all because we have a ton of housing. I mean, it's okay. It's... Uh, it's uh, just uh, wonderful to see that we are not uh, struggling with that. Now, with these houses over here, why are you struggling? I th thought you should... Oh, yeah, that's because we have blocked you in, isn't it? Okay, right. Let's give you the highest priorities. I want these sections to be done as soon as possible. And then that way we can just abandon this and the beavers and bots can focus on this zone in here. So how do they bring the dirt? Are you bringing dirt? Yes, you are bringing dirt. Okay, so that's lovely. How much dirt do you take? Six per tile. Oh dear, that is gonna take a lot then, isn't it? What we can do, let's um, have this done quickly as well. And we are gonna place uh, some dirt in this uh, industrial pile. How many are we doing per hour? Oh, you are using extract. I totally forgot about it. What's our reserves like? Oh, right. We don't have any extract in this in this zone over here, do we? But in our global supplies, uh, this is bad water. Here's the extract and there's 661. So that is okay. 
Um, right, we might want to actually start drawing some of that bad water and produce extract in here as well. Because right now we are transporting it from very far away. Unconnected building, okay, so that's still this one. And will you look at that, tiles are already going in pretty quickly, so that is wonderful. Oh dear, we knew it was going to happen. It's happened. Some of these beavers are already stuck. Of course they were going to do it. Okay, can we rescue them? This one, this tile should be done. I'm not sure. Okay. Right, let's speed it up a little bit as well. Hopefully one of those bots is going to get it done. Okay, there we go. And now you guys are pushed out. So, um, yep, just uh, get lost. Um, the rest of you guys, maybe it wasn't very smart to build the, the stairs just yet. Let's just let them... Yeah do this level first they can actually go around uh, okay we're gonna have to do quite a bit of micromanagement there what is happening oh of course what is going on you should probably open up again I think we've forgotten uh, when drought ends okay yeah that's definitely bring you back to zero all right there we go bad tide starts you should actually be closed yeah, uh, ends and this one, right. Hopefully that's going to fix this situation here. If not, that's not a biggie. I think we have another, yep, mangrove fruits in, in this one here as well. So everything should be good. Now, the warehouse, oh dear. I don't think we're going to be able to keep up with the work. So 4,000 science points. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> how is our power situation here? Uh, it's not the best. Let's have a look on the main zone. I'm thinking we could. Number cruncher. Oh wow, 1.5k as well. I mean, control tower will be useful for the pots in the other district. Uh, what else? Okay, 1.5 and you take 500 power. Right now, let's just pause this real quick. 3.6. Oh yeah, we're not producing here a lot anymore, are we? And logs are not the issue. So... Maybe, just maybe. Oh, you don't even need anyone in the building itself. So this could be a perfect puzzle. All right, so we're going to tuck you in the corner over here. It's going to take 500 power, connect you up with this power shaft, 100 gears, blanks, and some metal blocks. So we should be all good. Quick check over here. How is this going? Only two scrap metal left. All right, so what I'm probably going to do, I'm just going to keep an eye on this corner here real quick. Just make sure we pause the the scavenging flag as soon as the last piece is gone and there we go the last piece is gone let's just pause the flag real quick you can go home and we can seal up the rest of the wall as well there we go there's a bit of a road that can go and a few levees later this should be now nicely sealed up we'll take a quick look at the progress over here as well we've got some gears in metal blocks but seems like it might take just a little bit longer now we do have three spare pots what shall we do with you guys i think we oh yeah you required four thousand science points it's quite a few um <laughs> yeah num cruncher is waiting what else can we do with you guys i think we're gonna put them in the builders out here instead and this way we can free up those four beavers and they can go in the hauling post instead has anyone gotten themselves stuck oh you are definitely gonna get stuck aren't you someone's gonna complete this one here and then uh, okay fine you're struggling let's give you a bit more access now a little bit higher priority probably pause these ones for the time being yeah it is gonna take quite a bit of time i think we are gonna force the suspension bridge as well but um actually let's uh, let's not destroy it i think i wanted to pause it uh, wrong button oopsie so if this one crosses over we can do it for cheap of course by placing the three by one instead and then maybe placing another one on the opposite side and um, yeah i'm thinking of bringing this mountain up a little bit as well so we're kind of crossing or let's say maybe in the ancient times they managed to carve a pathway through the uh, mountain tops and then that leads us to this uh sort of ancient city here as well that was protected by the mountains from from half of its side 
I think that would be pretty pretty cool and interesting. And the next challenge we probably have is is trying to naturally sort of drop these. I kind of want to have some cliffs in here and do some cliffside living living space again. Or maybe entertainment, because living was gonna be here, right? Um, okay, so we have the last of the roofs. That is wonderful. We can start removing a few of these areas already. Okay, just a little bit left. So that is our current progress. We've done, I mean, quite a bit. And although I would love to have this done in one episode, unfortunately, we're not quite prepared to do this because we um, just don't have enough dirt. Yeah, so that's the hold up we have. I mean, logs is fine. We can get those levees done in, in no time at all since all the construction beavers are right now bots and uh, yeah so that that is fine but unfortunately even though we have built another dirt excavator we just don't have enough in the storage we can't keep up with the with the construction right now and um, i mean as soon as we hit 4k in the science we can swap them out and put the uh, bots here instead to have them operational 24 7 but for now until we get another thousand in the science, we uh, just can't afford to have it completed. So uh, we are going to have to leave it for the next episode. Despite our inability to complete the, the tower and the mountain over here with the district center on the top, I am still very happy with the progress and the overall design that we have managed to do live together and not just uh, sort of planning it out off camera. One more thing I do want to do here real quick. I do want to ensure we get rid of all the all the trees and I guess if we are going to give them a little bit more access as well maybe we can get this area constructed a little bit quicker. Who knows, we'll see. But okay, for the time being this is going to be the end of this episode so thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.